Hello, Internet. Welcome to the Floof stream. OMG Floofy here. <laughs> so today was a stressful day. It was a very stressful day. So I wanted to do something that was a little less stressful than... I mean, we had most of... A lot of the group for Sunday Fun Day today couldn't make it. So basically having a little bit less issue on stuff. I need to make a pick out another one of these. This is this is super appropriate for today. There we go. <laughs> I I am loving using these clips on my microphone. I love this microphone for having this little cable here. That is super Why is my hair standing? Holy shit, what is this? There we go. <laughs> Um, I love that this mic has a cable that comes around like this because it's perfect to like hook my memo clips on and they seem to be very appropriate to many times. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, it is, isn't it? Uh, let's see if we can summon animals. Animals. What? Okay. Hi. Hi, puppy. No. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Look at you. You're smiling. Hey. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> what are you doing, Scooter? He's being adorable. He is being super adorable today. Um, so, what Yotaku was talking about. <laughs> Earlier, my Nikki, my Nikki problem. Not a bad idea on there, Tenshi. Taking time to binge. What are you doing? Why are you licking my shoe? I saw that. I saw you lick the heel of that shoe. <laughs> it's scooter yeah you got, you've got a point he's just i love this that he's just plopped down right next to his crate there <laughs> we know this yeah yeah we do don't we um so i figure before we get into comrades i should show this as people know i have been struggling with trying to put together everything for my streams for 2023 especially because i have several games that i'm predicting to be 100 plus hour games coming up next year like azure we know that's a 100 plus hour game for me reverie we know that's a 100 plus hour game for me i don't know how long 16 is going to take but it's, it's not going to be a short game seven remake i have crisis core rebirth um it's a it's and we've been joking <laughs> We've been joking at length that Toby Fox was going to throw a monkey wrench into this whole lineup and release Delta Rune 3 through 5. What I did not expect is Paper Games to be the ones that lobbed the monkey wrench. For those who don't know, where's my purse? Where's my purse? For those who don't know, come on. I am more than just a little bit obsessed with this series. 
This is a, uh, basically, it's a dress-up game. It's a really amazing dress-up game. And just neat and everything in the way it's all done. There we go. With just some really incredible artwork and stuff in it. Oh, it's, there we go. And I'm obsessed with it. I was obsessed with its original iteration. Got hooked on the 3D iteration of it. You can't dog song. So I can hear Toby Fox. <laughs> is it going to? Yeah, Toby Fox is going to lob one to me. I know that. A nice schedule you have there. Well, let me show you guys. Because the game that I'm playing right now, Shining Nikki, is often called Nikki 4. Oh, not enough points? Ah, oh, sadness. So Shining Nikki is, uh, well, you know what? You know what? I will, I will. Okay, somebody got you. <laughs> so, Shining Nikki is Nikki 4. It's the fourth game of the Nikki series. There was, uh, I think, I can't remember the one before it. Number three is Love Nikki, which is what we finally got in English. Shining Nikki is Nikki 4. Well, Nikki 5 just got announced. And why is this a problem? Because I always, I always play, I play Shining Nikki and everything on my own. Very rarely on stream. I do play it on stream, though. However, let's come over here. Let's, let, let's talk about this. Real quick. Let, let, let's talk about this. Let, let, let's just go into this because... You guys know my weakness? My one true weakness? Yeah, not an ad. Hashtag not an ad. Okay, anyway. My one true weakness with gaming. <laughs> Hashtag Floofy is so doomed. Yes. 100%. So... Let's tell Spotify to go away. I'm just going to let you guys play, see this. And you will see why this is... Why I'm so doomed. You will absolutely see why I'm so doomed. Because this is very different from the other Nikki games. <laughs> and it's very Nikki at the same time. Welcome to Shining Nick to the Nikki series as an open world game. Where you're out where you have different outfits that give you abilities for navigating the world. I'm that it's funny you say that, Ronan. Funny you say that. The executive producer of Infinity Nikki is one of the main game designers from Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Schedule your reacts to this like you do to Tom Berry's. <laughs> And I'm realizing if this is going to be the Nikki answer to Genshin Impact, I am so screwed. I am absolutely 100% screwed. Like, seriously, look at this. Look at this. Fishing. The game has fishing in it. The game has fishing in it. It has dress up. It has fishing. It has exploration. I am so done. I am, I'm ruined. This is going to just turn into a, an Infinity Nikki stream. I, I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is the cutest thing with the ducks. I love it. <laughs> and bug catching. Yep. My guess there's many games based on outfits. It's like Skyward Sword again, too. <laughs> <laughs> 
And uh, I saw people talking about this possibly being pre-rendered. And it probably, a lot of it is. <laughs> but they are... He's Trails Final Fantasy, what's that? Yeah. But in all seriousness, um... A lot of people are talking about this all being pre-rendered uh, gameplay concepts. And I mean, maybe a lot of this is pre-rendered. But they're already taking pre-registration for China. So I think this game is closer to release than people think it is. So I'm willing to bet. So when uh, they started teasing uh, Shining Nikki, I think Shining Nikki came out within a few months. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> and what a lot of people don't seem to understand with uh, paper games is rendering I think what a lot of people don't get with the paper game paper games rendering is that they are really 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 big on rendering the texture of fabrics already in Shiny Nikki. Firefall can attest to this. She can absolutely attest to how in incredible the fabric rendering is in Shiny Nikki. And that's something that's actually rendered on a phone. Dress, <laughs> dress me so the wild. <laughs> so fashion, yeah, yeah, pretty much. What, what? Yeah, you you zoom in, you can see textures and stuff on the fabric. It's unreal. It is a game we saw. We kicked its ass. Yep, that's the Nikki Devs, Doctor P. That is absolutely Nikki Devs. So, um, like, I don't know if I can actually show it off well, just showing it off my phone. But let me see here. That is not the right game. I just opened the wrong game. All right. So, um. And then on top of that, uh, that what's this diary? They, yeah, no, I can't, what Firefall just said, I can't stress that enough. They already go really hard in on Shining Nikki. Like, and you know what? I was telling Sniff at dinner, I realized at dinner that, um, uh, that they have kind of been doing an open world map thing. Have you, Firefall, have you started, have they started doing the, uh, the map quests in, uh, the North, in the English server for, for Shining Nikki? They may have already, because I think, I'm trying to think of what hell events have come up. I, I know it comes up first in one of the hell events. Where you basically have like a little map you run around and you can do little mini games and stuff on it. And it's all like a little chibi Nikki. It's ridiculously cute. Um, cool. Very cool. Um, we're in. It's the anniversary celebration right now. But. Let me see if I can pull something up here. Find something with a really good texture to it. I don't know how well this is going to be visible on here. Let me screenshot it. I'll send it to Firefall. And then I will have, I will give you guys the Discord link. That is not what I wanted you to open. <laughs> I think Opera Omnia is a little mad at me right now. Oh, yep, yep. That's, that's it. So I think they've been playing around with the idea of doing something open world for a while. Just in a much smaller scale. Uh, but yeah, let me show you this. This is in one of the dresses that I have. More like Opera Madnia. <laughs> there you go. That's from when I'm talking about what they do with, uh, just like your Switch wanted to tell you to finish Crystalis during extra. <laughs> Oh, the 
that's true. Thank you for the sub, by the way, Trick. 35 months. Look at that. But yeah, when I talk about textures, this is actually that screenshot I gave you, I posted in there for the Discord link. That is actually an in-game screenshot. They really do go in hard. Oh, God, here they are. <laughs> yep. You are not wrong there, Tenshi. But yeah, if you look at the screenshot I linked from Discord, you can see what I'm talking about. Just open it at full level. You can see, like, the embroidery. You can see the, uh, the mesh fabric, the sequins. The stitching for all the sequins is in there, too. Like I said, I'm not kidding when they go in hard on a mobile game <laughs> for the fabric cloth designs. That is that is their bread and butter. That is where they where they play. And they have been playing for years now. Shiny Nikki's been out for, I think, three years now? Three, four years? Something like that? So... Um, and it looks like uh, Infinity Nikki may actually get a simultaneous release worldwide. If not, if not simultaneous, then with English and Japan right behind the uh, Chinese release. Because China, like I said, China's already doing their pre-reg now. So that tells me that the game is coming close to being ready. And one more moment and then we'll get in the comrades, I promise. I promise. There is one more game. I am actually really hyped about that I've noticed has trailers now. So allow me to show you guys these trailers, which means there might be something else muscling in on everything. The Nikki Cinematic Universe, when it comes out, now the funny thing on that trick is that Nikki actually has a pretty cr crazy story underneath it all. Um, like, like for, I was talking to somebody, I was saying for a game that's so female targeted, targeted towards female gamers. Um, this game has a lot to do with like the end of the world and war and everything on, to on, on top of being a dress up game. <laughs> it's just, it's wild. It's so crazy. One of the, one of the craziest moments in uh, Love Nikki. I figure Love Nikki has been out for lo so long that it's, I feel safe talking about this. Yeah. Uh, the whole story of Shining Nikki is that Nikki has traveled back to the past to stop the destruction of Miraland. <laughs> and she has like glimpses of what, like visions of what the what the end of the world is going to look like of what the what the the catastrophe is supposed to be the apocalypse. And so she has the ability to pull in emotions and memories off of designs that she makes from the designers that she's pulling influence from. <laughs> It's 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 crazy. It is so crazy that they do this. But one of the crazy one of the big moments in the in Love Nikki, you could dress up, look cute, have fun, and see some war crimes. Yoko Toro announcing a near Nikki cross. You know the funny thing is the funniest thing. Let me let me show you guys something here. She's Taraku in Age of Calamity. You're not that far off. Um, let me show you something. Of all the collabs, there have been collaborations with uh, Shining Nikki. I don't know if the North American one has gotten it, but I know for a fact. Oh, that's that's association. That's the wrong menu. Come on. <laughs> the game is being slow because I it's trying to get back. To, we just yeah. Well, no, this is one of the oldest collabs the game has had. So, this is one of the really old collabs from the, for the game. Let me find. Mm -hmm. trying to remember how to find the collabs. I don't have that one at all. Okay.
Of course, it's not focusing at all on these. There you go. So, some of the collabs are make sense. Somehow it's all Shinji's fault. Some of the collabs make sense. Like we have card capture collabs. This is from the Frozen collab that happened. Yeah, the the Elsa dress in the Frozen collab is just amazing. Yeah, the Disney stuff is really, really weird in terms of their licensing and the collabs. This is the other Elsa dress from the Frozen set. So they did the dress from Fro The collab was around Frozen 2's release, I think. It was a little bit after it came out. But yeah, uh, the Taiwanese server got all of the big... Hi, Harley. The Taiwanese server got a whole bunch of like big Disney and like here's there's like a Cinderella one. And there's Bell. We'll see if it'll focus. It won't. So Ah, perfect. So, there was another game that's got a trailer, and I don't think this one's going to be... Oh, gosh, that texture's gorgeous. I just saw, saw it on Discord. Yeah. A really good example of how hard they go in on this. Wait until that new Kingdom Hearts game <laughs> includes a Nikki collab. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's the funny thing, is that I did have little similar feelings to like uh what is it to um uh the uh tangled setting in in kingdom hearts 3 when i saw the trailer stuff for when i saw the trailer stuff for uh uh infinity nikki or when i saw that one trailer for it i mean Let me see here. Here we go, by the way. This one's Korean. But this is, uh, this is one of our early looks at the solo leveling game. <laughs> and as you can see, this is for mobile and PC, so... Yeah. I'm gonna guess this is gonna be very Genshin Impact. By the way, if you've never read anything for solo leveling, this comic has some of the most incredible artwork I've ever seen. And this game actually looks like it's straight out of the comic. This game legitimately looks like it's straight out of the comic.
So that's something else that'll probably end up being played at some point. If you want to see kind of this is we've actually got we've actually got footage and stuff of what to expect from the game. Because it was uh, the game was just shown off at a game event that was in Korea. I feel like we should do some just some just chatting streams where I just talk about upcoming games. I mean, it kind of is right now, but I kind of want to do a full stream dedicated to this kind of stuff because this is fun. But I mean, look at this. This looks absolutely cool, too. Pause! Oh, yeah, my, my stream schedule is ruined. Like, I'm, I'm ready to try this out too. And this game is taking free reg right now for in Korea. So, the chance, and I think since we have the the comic and the novels being released here in English, <laughs> sit back and talk about the game. I guess, I guess so. Like. Holy shit, this is just... Just like, what? It really looks like it's straight out of the comic. And then you get these like cutscenes that can be... And that can be triggered off of the... This is one of the big iconic scenes out of the comic that they've actually recreated in the engine, which is really, and it's really well done. So, and yeah, I kind of agree with that concept on there, but, um, and I should probably turn <laughs> and go G pose like in Charlotte or something. That would be fun. I would be all for that. That would be, that would be fun. Teasing. <laughs> it is. It is a very teasing moment. If, again, if you know the comics, you know how that scene plays out. Like, that's one of the big iconic scenes of the comics that they did. And they, I think they did a really good job portraying it. Because, okay, so... You know the routine in Korean comics right now where the world kind of is gamified and stuff and you have, like, people who can level up and stuff? Solo leveling is the story that really started that trend as far as I'm aware. I think it is the story that really started it. Um, where... It's not, not isekai. Isekai is where you get transported into another world. It's where something changes the world and people are aware of like levelings and stuff like that. So basically something happens, a disaster happened to the earth, to the world and suddenly people had the, had, suddenly had magic abilities and powers and gates opened up where monsters could come into the world and stuff. So people start banding and creating groups called hunters and then they rank people based on their in, in individual power. So it follows uh, a guy named Sung Jin Woo. Uh, Jin Woo is a, the weakest hunter. He is like the lowest rank and he is the weakest of the lowest rank. His big thing is that he's just got a little bit more durability than your average human. And he's, 
he's got an awareness of staying out of danger for the most part. He can he can keep himself out of trouble. Somehow he's been able to go and he's, he does his hunts just to raise money because his mother is ill. And he's trying to raise his younger sister by himself um, and everything. So one time he goes into a hunt with a group. And in this dungeon and past this gate, in this dungeon they find a pair of doors. And this group, it's a, it was a large, I think it was like 10 people. It was a large group. This group of 10, they were like, oh, this is an easy dungeon. They get to this one thing. And it's got this giant statue, this really ominous looking statue that's seated on a throne. It's massive. And they get locked in this room and they are required to go through these multiple steps of worship to the statue. And if they, if people pulled things off incorrectly in response, they were killed right off the, right off the bat. Uh, Jin Wu is one of the handful is, was the one that was left behind. They managed to all get out, but the, he, he ended up doing something to make sure they got out and stayed behind. And in the process, something changes with him and he starts get, he discovers that there's another system underneath this whole system of gates and everything where he's starting to see things that pop up like things talking about like gamifying everything where he sees like oh you have a level you now have stats and all these other things and he's like okay what does this mean and he starts realizing that this whole hunter system for him has been changed to where and he started to realize i'm the only one that sees this nobody else sees this and in the process he starts gaining strength because he's he's leveling up that's the name solo leveling and I, when I first read through the, when I was first reading the comic, I was very frustrated at how it brings up important people to him and then t doesn't really it bank on him anymore. And then I read the, the novel and I thought the novel was actually a lot better. And it actually made me kind of understand the comic a bit more, if that makes sense. So... It was one of those cases with it. And while I've got this going on, I'm starting to get uh, Final Fantasy 15 running so we can actually get started. I'm going to actually change out the recording so we have two recordings. Hold on.